welcome back to Oso Farm. It is time for us to prepare our October meals for the month. We have already done and posted our October um, grocery haul, so you can check that out right here. Here comes my Evan Ray. He just did a little sneak peek right there. So um, you may wonder why we do this, and it just makes the whole month go easier. <laughs> it just makes the whole month go easier, and um, when I've talked with other women about this, I just share that there is something real to be said about decision fatigue, and when you have to think about what you come up with, what you're going to make each and every meal, it's really exhausting, and so even though I sometimes get overwhelmed to do all this at the front end of the month, I really am thankful for it as each day passes. So what I end up doing is creating a sheet, a Google document that just has a running list of recipes and then it's categorized by different meats and then I just kind of change the date, the month and select meals delete meals that we ate last month that we didn't want to try again or just switch it up. So that's kind of how I plan out my meals. So today, I don't have a plan for exactly all we're gonna accomplish. I do need to get the meat that I bought at Sam's processed and in the freezer, but I have my helpers Eli and Elizabeth and Esme. <laughs> We're going to do some baking and getting some of these meals made. So Eli is going to start by making some, my um, sister Jennifer, it's her pumpkin bread recipe. I will link this below. So he's going to get started on this and I'll kind of walk you through as he's doing this. Okay, Eli. So it takes one yellow cake mix. You're just gonna add all this to the bowl. Four eggs, I'll take that. Four eggs. on the floor that's okay okay four eggs while he's doing that I'm gonna add a half a cup of vegetable oil I cannot get this camera adjusted where you see all of us okay there we go success okay and then this is a fourth a cup of water and I'm gonna squeeze in here this is three-fourths a cup of white sugar Get my super cute happy fall spatula. This came in a two pack at Marshall's. So Eli, can you use the spatula? And this is one can of pumpkin in there. And then let's see. Oh, that smells so good. We're gonna do one teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of Nutmeg. Mm. You don't like the way that smells? It's nope. just spicy. Half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And then... And then the directions just say to mix together. Instead of using our blender, since he's got muscles, I'm just gonna let him Whisk that together until it is all incorporated together. Okay, just kind of get this from you. All right, so you're gonna pour it to about here, a little more than halfway in the big one. That's good. Usually I do the little loaf pans, but I only had a few. Even though these are reusable, we do a little bit more, teeny tiny bit more. 
Okay, perfect. Good job. One more. Okay, and then I think we've got one more. Got one more grease pan here. You can use the spatula to get the rest. Go then we can do one. one more. Goodness, it said five small loaf pans, but it looks like we're gonna get one big loaf and four small. So use the spatula. Okay, and then we're gonna put these into a 350 degree preheated oven. You know what we're gonna do though? All right, Eli, let's set them all okay. on this tray. Tastes pretty good. Oh, Aunt Jen knows what she's doing, huh? Definitely. Okay, love, let's get this in this preheated oven. And this bakes, it just says until a toothpick comes out clean. So we will, let's start with 15 minutes. So we're gonna set a timer. Okay. Okay, so here is what I'm making tonight. And this is an example of a freezer meal that I prepared in September. So the only thing I did to prepare for this meal was to go ahead and pre-slice these sausages. And then it's just a um, sheet pan meal. At lunch, we cut up from last month our leftover sweet potatoes, red, pe red potatoes. I opened a can of green beans and um, corn and one red onion and I think just one orange pepper. So I'm going to just add, see if I can balance this. Still trying to navigate this camera. So I'm going to add two sausage. I already drizzled the vegetables with olive oil before I stuck it in the Um, refrigerator after lunch so I'm just gonna kind of toss this it's quite a bit of sausage but it'll help some of it's still a little bit frozen fill them up okay and then I think I chose this garlic parmesan Weber I just got this at Sam's Club a couple months back this one has not been opened, so just kidding, scratch that. We're gonna use the honey garlic. There's just a little bit left in here. So I'm just gonna sprinkle, season it. Halfway through, I will stir it around and then we'll let the sausage and the potatoes get kind of toasty. So that's our dinner and then I'm gonna throw some rolls in the oven. I'm gonna preheat the oven for the bottom oven for that at 425. And I'm gonna go ahead and just stick it in to get some of this space cleared off. I'm gonna fold up this that was covering it, save it. Okay. I have some water boiling. We are going to make Pioneer Woman's ziti, but I'm going to get just the noodles done right now. We'll need to grill or saute the, what is the word? What is this called? You, Cook, brown, brown. We're going to need to brown the Italian sausage. Okay, so Esme is my famous meat browner, meat cooker. She's really, she's good at doing this for me. So before she browns this ground turkey, 
If you watched our grocery haul, I bought two packs and each pack had two of these. So each one of these is two and a half pounds. So we are about to brown five pounds of ground turkey. And we only use the ground turkey for tacos and taco salad. It's kind of the only thing we use ground turkey for. So if there is a recipe you want to suggest to me, I would love to I would love to try it. That's kind of, I know you can substitute ground turkey for ground beef, but that's kind of the only thing that we tend to use it for. Okay, so I think I may have shared this before, I can't remember. So this is Mississippi Hot Roast, and um, I grew it on here to add the pepperoncini, sini, chini, I don't know. They'll always correct me on my pronunciation. Peppers, I thought I had some in the refrigerator and I actually did it. So my hands are gonna get yucky, but I'm gonna put one roast in each bag. Sometimes these things are a blessing and I'm gonna pause really quick to wash my hands because they're all meat. Um, so when we cook the Mississippi pot roast, we end up doing two, one in each crock pot, and I just cook it on high until the meat ends up falling apart. So this is one reason why it's sinful and yummy. A whole stick of butter. Um, I don't know how much garlic. I just do a couple heaping scoops in there. And then, so the peppers you would add, and then a packet of ranch dressing. Sounds odd, but it's super yummy. And then an onion soup mix. So this is ready for the freezer. This one. There we go. And then because this meat is so big, I will thaw this out the day before. This is one of our kids' favorites. We end up shredding the roast and I get ciabatta rolls and a white sliced cheese and we make like a French dip sandwich with it. Okay. Okay, I've enlisted the help of my husband and Esme browned all 10 pounds of meat with the three or four onions I can't remember and we have drained it it has cooled down quite a bit so I'm I'm gonna have Brian divide that equally into these bags so it'll be about two and a half pounds a bag there you are okay come and bag I'm sorry, put that I'm trying in the to find a place to put the camera in. There's no the place to put the camera had There's food everywhere. Dished out. Look! Are you bad, Mel? What? Where's that big ladle? This isn't a very big ladle. Does anything else go in these? Do I? No. No. And they just need to sit on the counter until they're completely cool. Hey! Okay, we're back at it. Dinner was delicious. I've got my boyfriend here. Um. <laughs> hey, girl. Have you, he said, hey girl, have y'all seen those, um, what's that actor's name? Oh. Tell me about it. He was in The Notebook. Yeah, what's his name? Okay, the actor from The Notebook movie, the name is, has escaped us. He does these homeschool hey girl memes that are hilarious. I don't so. think he does them. Well, his image, his picture is included in it. Anyways, we're distracting me. 
So he's doing the dishes from what we've accomplished so far and then we're gonna try to finish up. This is all that we're gonna accomplish on day one. So the pumpkin bread ended up taking forever. I don't, I get lost track of how many times I kept hitting the timer. So I just take it out of the baking tin and I'm gonna wrap it. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap these very carefully because they are pretty soft. And then I'm gonna put them inside freezer bags that say pumpkin bread. And I'll probably need to pull out three of the mini loaves at a time. So that this probably will just be two little servings for everybody inside of me. <laughs> Although my sister Jennifer did bring me some gluten-free pumpkin muffins that I'm gonna put in the freezer so I can have those when they have that. So the next thing we're gonna do, which y'all have seen us do this before, is these chicken tenderloins. I got these a dollar off. They were in our Walmart grocery haul for October. And I could probably just reuse this one to bake them in. We're just gonna do kosher salt on each side. And I'm going to, should we sear these? Is that what makes them yummy? Yes, we should. Okay, so we're going to sear these on the stove top, probably two or three minutes on each side to just. You want to rinse this? Yeah, because I'm probably just going to bake them. Or just, do you think it matters? I don't think it matters. Yeah, it does not. Um, and then we're going to bake them. I left our oven preheated. I'm gonna flip all these around. I'm trying to hustle because I have some grading left to do tonight and I have a sweet neighbor friend that I started walking with a little bit. So I wanna get enough done that I can really enjoy the time walking without thinking of all the things that I need to be doing. Okay, and Lizzie just brought us the Italian sausage. So we're gonna Get that cooked up and we're going to use a small portion of it for the baked ziti that will go in the freezer. We use the Pioneer Woman's ziti recipe. Okay, I heated up this and so now we're going to just get these going. Try to cook them all. Also, gonna start some of the Italian sausage. It's about out.
Okay, it's another day of food prep. I'm just gonna start some yogurt. I have my Instapot here. I'm just gonna pour a whole gallon of 2% milk in. lid on to ceiling and then I'm just gonna hit I don't know how yours works but mine I'm just gonna boil this until it goes off and then I have whoop, then I have a little thermometer and once it cools to 110 degrees oh that's not it that's my meat thermometer once it cools to 110 degrees, we um, turn it, we add a yogurt starter, which is just my plain, half a cup of plain Greek yogurt stirred up in there. I'm gonna have to search for my thermometer. So that's just the first step is to boil the milk. Okay, it's been a few more hours for the yogurt. Usually I do it overnight, but I need some space in my fridge and it looks like it has drained quite a bit so I'm just gonna drop this is what had already drained overnight I'm just gonna plop this in here I'm gonna lower this I will link this um, yogurt strainer below this is our second one. You have to be really careful. These are really delicate, the edge, and we've had, we've punctured it and then it hasn't worked. But I think there was a knife or something by it in the sink. If I had one more, I'd be able to do a whole batch at once. So this was plain yogurt. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this Itali uh, Italian, <laughs> imitation vanilla extract and we usually do a fourth a cup of sugar? Yeah, not, I usually don't do that much, but... Okay, I'm doing that much, okay. And then we're just gonna blend this up. Okay, so the vanilla yogurt's done. This will last us a little over a week, um, unless everyone's having it for breakfast. And we just usually serve it with some of the granolas that we buy at Aldi. Um, I was thinking, I haven't in this house, but in our last house I made strawberry, I can't get this lid on, strawberry yogurt. So if I can get to the store and get more milk soon, we may try that and put them in the individual containers for the kids because I did not buy yogurt this month. So also, Brian, I bought those two whole chickens and I made him open them and then we were going to rinse kind of the blood off of them before I put them in the freezer. And then we decided we would go ahead and just try to cook this one in our air fryer. So we just made a seasoning mix of one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, a half a teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and then we just did some salt and pepper. And he is going to pat the chicken dry. I need to oil it. And oil it with some olive oil. And then we're going to cook it for 30 minutes aside in the air fryer until it reaches the right temperature. And I remember that I bought, I did. So we have this little meat thermometer. Since it's raw, we will check what's, it. What's the, um, so it's, it's dry. So just oil it down. And, and then, then rub that on it, yep. Um, do you have a brush or something? Eating my mm. Okay, no sound effects. 
He was telling me I should have been blogging earlier because the commentary that me and Lizzie were <laughs> making when he'd opened up these chickens, it just, <laughs> raw meat is just a stretch for me. Um, he would like to do meat chickens. You know, we're, we're only on a little under three acres. And if we did like a little tractor, we could have, we could grow meat chickens, but I just don't, I, I just have to kind of grow into that. So I'm letting him do all of the, the manual labor here on this chicken. And then supposedly what I've been reading is it tastes a lot like a rotisserie chicken that you would buy at the store. We have not used our air fryer. I think the only person that's used our air fryer is Christopher. When he was here, he baked some cookies and we did, we also baked some in the oven. And I think everybody voted for the oven baked cookies, right? So I don't know if that was an error on our part or a, the recipe, but. Okay, so he is rubbing this chicken down here. Hmm. And it was breast side down, right? Breast side down at first, yes. Okay. Is it fifth? Perfect. Okay. And then I don't even know. I just think we let it live in there. Okay, you need to wash your hands because I need help figuring this. Well, don't you think that's supposed to be on first? How do like, you turn it on? Boy, I think you have to have this thing in. In it? Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay. So that's minute. This is temperature. I think it said 365. How do you go up just a little bit? It's only doing, it only lets us go up by five degrees. Well, you would get 365, right? Is that where you're supposed to do it? I mean 10 degrees, sorry. Okay, 360. And then it's saying we need, what did we say, 30 minutes on each side? I, I hope we kept the manual for this. I wasn't listening. Okay, so we just did 30 minutes on one side and it looks really, really pretty. So he's gonna flip it and then we're gonna do 30 minutes on the other side and then check the internal temperature. I don't know if this will be a graceful toss. It's kind of crunchy. I don't have enough room in this thing. Perfect. Okay, in we go, another 30 minutes. We are checking on our air fryer chicken, air fry, I yeah. guess. Air fryer. It's very pretty. We put it, we flipped it and put it back in and checked its internal temperature. So we're gonna let it. Man, that's a pretty bird. We're gonna let it cool. And I guess we'll eat it tomorrow because we're y'all are going to the football game okay so i have processed most of the meat i think what's left i'm just going to bag up and put in the freezer i kind of um lost some steam this time with cooking it all so maybe i can do a weekly meal prep um but i had a bunch of freezer meals left from september to use up so i think we should be good. So thanks for watching and give this video a like and we will see you in the comments. Hope y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.